So there are tons of reasons why you might want to use a video converter or some sort of a conversion process. Now, whether it's because you need to convert a certain file format into another because it's much more well suited in the type of editor that you use, or you just want to bump up the resolution of a video, let's say from 1080p to 4K by just converting it and enlarging the image so that the video on playbacking has a 4K feature to view the video in. Whatever the reason is, knowing the correct conversion program that will not cause any reduction in the quality as well as make your whole workflow extremely easier than before is highly, highly important. On that note, what's up guys? And we're here today. We are talking about the best video converter for Windows or for Mac. With that being said, let's not waste any time. Leave a like, subscribe to the channel and let's get started. <music> Okay, so the software that we are using is called Wondershare Video Convert and to call it just a software would be kind of an insult. Now, this software is almost a full-blown video editor apart from letting you convert your videos across 1000 conversion formats at high speeds, it also lets you add watermark, effects, crop the video and add subtitles. Now you can also bump up your resolution by converting a 1080p video to a 4K one but keep in mind since you're basically doing nothing but enlarging our 1080p footage to the resolution of that of a 4K one there will be some loss of quality and that will totally depend on your click because it's not true 4K but you're just forcing it to be a 4K video either way you can do that okay enough chit chat now let's jump right into how you can actually use the software so first things first go to the link in the description to download the software from their website either for Windows or for Mac. Uh, once done, open it up and you'll find this UI. Okay guys, so once you install it up, this is what you're gonna see when you open up the software for the first time. Now notice there are five sections on the top word section of the software convert, download, burn, transfer, and toolbox. Now we'll go through each and every one of these options and I'll explain what it actually does. But the most important part of the software is converting one certain of image into another one. So the first thing you have to do is add the video that you wanna convert. Now I'm just gonna select any random video from my collection of videos that I have. So all the way, let's select the 1080 Ti review and we open it up. Now it's gonna import uh, the footage and as you can see, on the left hand side, you can see uh, the specifications of the file that you have imported so it's an mp4 format it's full HD it is five minute and one seconds long and it's almost 400 megabytes in size now over here on the right section is where you can change to what you want to convert it to so you can obviously rename it to something else and you can click on this drop down menu to select the type of format that you want to change it to so if we go to video you can see there is everything from mp4 to HEVC mp4, MOV that is QuickTime, MKV, AVI, WMV and all of the other formats. If you're going to upload it to YouTube, you can also select their pre-recorded or pre-made presets with which you can just select the perfect settings that would be for YouTube. And you would want to convert a software for many possible reasons, either to reduce the size so it's easier to download. So let's say you create a full HD or a 4K video and you turn it down to full HD so that the size is smaller when you upload to YouTube. But for now, let's turn this normal video into a 4K one. So I'm just gonna select MOV because it's gonna be easier for me to access in my MacBook. And then we're gonna select here the second one that is the 4K. You can see the 4K resolution and uh, the specifications. So just select on that. It's gonna show you uh, the difference in uh, the size. Now, uh, surprisingly, it's smaller than the 1080p one basically because it's an MOV. And once you're ready with all your settings, you can select where you're going to output it to. So just select the folder that you want to output it to. For now, I'm gonna uh, select desktop and hit OK. So let's just select desktop. And once you have selected desktop, uh, you actually need to select a folder. So that's done and hit on convert all. 
So once you click on convert all, it's going to take a bunch of time to convert your footage into uh, the desirable result that you wanted it to convert to. Now you can also go to the download section, download any video from the internet by just pasting the URL. I mean, that is very, very handy. You can also burn your uh, files from a CD or a DVD and you can transfer it from your phone to your computer by connecting it. Now you can do that normally, but if you want to do it through this software, that is possible too. And last but not the least, we have the toolbox section where you can fix the metadata of your files. You can uh, convert videos to VR and enjoy it on your VR devices. And you can also cast it to TV or as use it as a screen recorder. So really this is one of those softwares that does everything that it's supposed to do very, very easily and uh, with a very, very good UI and user experience. Now we're going to check out the video once it's done. So what we're going to do is skip to the part where the video has completely finished rendering. Okay guys, so it just finished rendering and it took about five minutes. That's uh, okay considering the video is almost uh, six to seven minutes long and I was transferring it to a 4k file so now I'm what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look at its properties to make sure that it has indeed turned a 1080p video into 4k as you can see it's 4k 30 fps and once that is done let's go ahead and play it once to see that we don't have any kind of uh, uh, loss in quality whatsoever now as I said in the beginning if you're going to be turning a 1080p footage into 4k you will eventually lose quality because you're doing nothing but enlarging a 1080p file across a 4k timeline so keep that in mind however if you just need it for a quick project or you want to do the opposite that is take a 4k file and finally shorten it down into a 1080p one then it should work much much better other than that this is a really great software that I think everybody should at least know about uh, when you want to convert videos and you're working in this field and uh, yeah I'll drop links in the description so definitely be sure to check it out and well guys that is pretty much it for today's video if you guys did enjoy it feel free to leave a like subscribe to the channel a huge thanks to Wondershare for sponsoring this video and supporting this channel it really helps me getting out content to you guys on a weekly basis with that being said follow me on Instagram and on Twitter links in the description below until then this is Anubhav signing out I will catch you guys in my next one one. Peace out.